Hello, Dr. Janice Webb back again to talk some more about Childhood Emotional Neglect, or CEN. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the three things missing in every emotional, emotionally neglectful family. Um, and first I wanna say that emotional neglect, I always describe it as the background of your family picture rather than the picture itself. So when you look at a family picture, you see the people in it, you don't really notice what the background is. And that's emotional neglect and the reason that it's so unnoticeable because it dwells in what is not said, what's not asked, what's not discussed in your childhood home. So the questions not asked, the conversations not held, and the feelings that are not allowed to be felt. This is childhood emotional neglect. It dwells in what doesn't happen versus what does happen. I've been hearing from so many people since the holidays who spent time with their parents and their families and who came away feeling disappointed or let down. Maybe they were even anxious when they were with their family, but they couldn't pinpoint why and came away feeling empty. An empty feeling when you're with your family is definitely a sign, all of those things are signs, of childhood emotional neglect in the family. The interesting thing is childhood emotional neglect isn't just about children, it's about those children once they grow up. Because the things that you learn as a child from having your emotions ignored and not discussed stay with you for a lifetime. The three things that are missing from an emotionally neglectful family are enough meaningful talk about important, painful, difficult, or emotional um, subjects or personal subjects. The second thing is a feeling that your parents are, are interested in you, that they want to know more about you. They want to know about you, not just what you're doing, but you as a person. And the third is related to that, and it is a feeling of being deeply known and understood by your parents. Those three things are missing in emotionally neglectful families. If you think about your family and you think it's possible this could be going on for you, I suggest that you go to my website, emotionalneglect.com, and you can take the emotional neglect questionnaire there, or you can sign up for my newsletter where you'll hear about every new article I write, every new presentation I give, and I will keep you informed. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.